Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So first of all, today I'm back with a do it yourself. I know you guys seem to really enjoy do it yourselves and so do I. So I decided to come back with another one. I have this idea in mind for ages. So I really want to try to achieve it. Also, before I go into the video, I just want to apologize for my last video because a lot of people noticed that it was oversaturated. I returned from vacation a lot more tanner than usual. It was so orange, so I apologize to everyone that had to watch the entire video. Either way, I think I fix it now. I just messed around a little bit with the definitions and I think it looks better, but I always like your input on things, so yeah. Also, I just bleached my roots, they are looking great. Um, they were so 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 dark and also on the vacations the pink was all gone so that's another news I'm back with the blonde but I don't know should I go pink again or any other color let me know down in the comments so yeah now let's go to the video and roll the intro and then I'm going to introduce you to what we are going to do today let's go <music> what we are suing today I'm very excited for this one because I've been seeing these tops online like on Instagram and stuff I like to call them like the patchwork tops because they look a little bit like patchwork they are kind of like a mix between fabrics and also they look like they are worn from the inside out and usually the sewings are in a contrast color so they look very pretty and you can play around with a lot of different shapes I've been seeing this with one strap, two straps a lot of different situations and also something that I really love is that it's a top that you can make from like old t-shirts old tops that you don't like anymore you don't wear anymore so it's like sustainable fashion you can uh, recycle some old clothes into these beautiful tops that are so trendy right now and that's what I want to do today I have here some old t-shirts that I don't use anymore they are not much interesting and I can take this fabric without buying any new fabric or anything I can take this fabric and turn into a beautiful top and that's what I'm going to try to do today also if you're not good with sewing or if you want to support like smaller brands that are doing this I've been following some brands on my Instagram that do these particular tops so I discovered JJ Vintage which basically is a store that does these tops with a lot of like Nike t-shirts and stuff also this brand called Rua Carlota is like Portuguese name but I don't know I think it's from London and this one is so beautiful because they mix a lot a lot of different fabrics and also one called Mata Complex or Meta Complex I don't know how you say it these ones are very beautiful because almost every single one of them has like sheer fabric and lace up they are just very very cute so yeah these were a few of the brands that I discovered that uh, really sell this type of tops in case you just want to buy it but today I'm going to attempt to do my do-it-yourself so you can always check my video and try to make it yourself so these were the fabrics that I gather I have this old t-shirt actually it's from my mom she used to like use this to, to sleep and lounge uh, it's like a really pale yellow I think this is from Primark it's a little worn out but we are just going to use a few pieces of the fabric so I think it's okay then I have this t-shirt like an old nude t-shirt that I have I used to wear this like for sports and stuff this is a t-shirt from H&M that I have for ages now and it's a little bit sheer so I think it's going to give a good twist to the top and it's very very tight so I don't wear it as much and I think it would be better if it was in a beautiful top so yeah so I have this tree and as always I have a top here that I'm going to use as like the foundation of this do-it-yourself I always do this if you follow my channel if you've seen any do-it-yourself from me before I like to use something that I already have as like a foundation because mostly not every single one of you guys will know how to do like molding for for clothes so I think it's always easier to start with the piece that you already have and this really simple top is going to be our foundation and then we can play around with it as we want I think it's easier for you to sketch on a piece of paper or an iPad like I'm going to do just what you want for the top so I'm drawing here just like the shape of the top that I already have I'm using Procreate you can use any sketching app for this I want to play around and have like a different shape from normal so I know that like on the area of the breast I don't want much much sewings. Maybe I just should go with one strap. Yeah, I think I'm liking it better vertical like this. Yeah, I think this can be cute. 
and here the back this so I'm happy with the shapes now let's try to bring these shapes back to life on our fabric so I decided to color here the different fabrics that I have so let's try to make this happen right here I'm going to start with the jersey t-shirt and I'm going to start by opening the t-shirt here in every sewing so we have like a clean uh, fabric that it's not in shape of clothes <laughs> Okay, so we have clean fabric right here, it's the back of the t-shirt and I'm gonna place it right here, try to understand how I'm going to cut it. Don't forget that you need to leave an extra inch here for the sewing and then I'm gonna try to draw the shape here with a pen. And since we are doing this, I'm going to draw the other shape that's on the same fabric. So these are basically the shapes. I don't know if you can clearly see them, but these are the shapes that I draw. And now I'm just going to cut them. Okay, so these are the pieces. Now let's do like the mesh pieces right here. And I'm going to do the same thing and open the t-shirt on the sides. And I'm going to place it here and once again try to draw. And we have the three shapes so we can start cutting it. Okay, only one shape missing on the front which is the pale yellow. So I'm going to start by opening the t-shirt like I did with the other one. Okay, so I drew the shape, let's cut the pale yellow. I'm just going to pin everything together so I don't lose track of what I need to sew with what. Okay, so let's remove the front part here and start working on the back. So I just marked the only part which is this one of this fabric on the back and I'm going to cut it okay this is the one part now the sheer fabric has three parts on the back okay so I placed the pieces here like a puzzle and now there's only one yellow piece left okay now let's cut this okay so our back is already done as well I'm just going to pin everything like I did on the front okay so we finished placing all the pieces and this is how it's going to look so now I want to take this to the sewing machine okay, so here we are I have a white thread on the machine because I decided that it was a good color to contrast with this I could use black but I don't know I felt like a more like new neutral stop is going to look cool so white is just the contrast it's just like enough contrast for me and using this blue stitch right here which is usually what you use um, on the swing that are placed on the inside to trim like the edges and everything and without further ado let's start sewing this bad boy i'm going to start by the front don't forget that your stitchings are going to be thin so you want to stitch on the outside of the fabric okay here goes nothing So our first stitching is done, completed. This is how it looks. It's very raw, very unusual, but I think it's going to look amazing in the end. So let's keep on going. Okay, so all the pieces in the front here are already sewed together, as you can see. And now I'm doing like the edges here, the trims, and also with the same stitching. Okay, so our front part is all completed. I'm so happy with it and honestly, I love this side, but also love this side that doesn't have the stitching. So very good to know that it's fully reversible and that I really enjoy both sides. So yeah, I'm going to start with the back now before I stitch them together. All right, so I just finished the back part. I sewed all the pieces together and also the edges here and now I can finally place them together like this 
the back and the front and stitch them together on the sides that's the only thing missing from this top so we are at the final final stage of our patchwork top and then I will show you the final result Okay, so here we have our beautiful top. I'm very, very happy with the result. And all that is left to do now is to put this on and see how this looks on the body. I'm really so excited. So let's see how this looks. Okay, here it is. I'm just so happy with it. I think it's even better than I imagined. It's really fitted. I was a little bit scared that it was a little big, but it's actually really fitted and beautiful. I love the sheer parts. I absolutely love this pop of cream yellow here. And the back is also very, very cute. So I'll definitely recommend this with yourself. I think it's very, very easy. Actually, it can seem a little hard with all the pieces that you need to cut but honest to god you can sew this really quickly with the same stitching for everything so it's very easy to do i love that it's like one strap only and i can't wait to shoot this today i'm going to record some footage of me wearing it outside and show you right now guys thank you so so much i hope you enjoyed this with yourself if you recreate this shape exactly or any other shape but you use this do it yourself to recreate it i just wish you tag me on instagram so i can share your looks on my stories i love to do that every time that i do a do it yourself so don't forget to tag me don't forget to subscribe to the channel i'm almost hitting 100k so yeah we can grow our youtube family don't forget to subscribe like this video and follow me on all my social medias i'm going to leave them below and I guess I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys, love you.